Good morning, everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page seven. I had to think about that for a second. Page seven, and we're going to have four flaps uh, that are going to open left to right, and they are four and a half by four. Four and a half by four. So there'll be a finished four by four. You're going to place a magnet on each one. We're going to install them, and then we'll put the accompanying magnet here before we start decorating. And like I said, I'm trying to use up these glue dots, and uh, they are a bit of a challenge <laughs> because they're they're aging out, I think. So the the pe the backing doesn't want to peel off nice and neat. It pretty much wants to drag half of the dot with it. Make sure I've got that. Right. And I did this in the last album, but because I had these cut aparts uh, from the eight by eight, they fit so perfectly. I couldn't, I just couldn't resist using them for a four by four spread um, flaps. It's like they were designed for it. Now we will, so there's two magnets, one's on the flap, the others will be over here. So let's see if I can't get this peeled off without taking the, um, the dot with it. Some of them are in better shape than others. Now, because I used multiple um, eight by eights, um, I've got a set of three of these. So I'm going to use this on the cover and this on the inside. So I'm gonna use two full sets of those cut aparts. Woke up with a little bit of a tummy ache. It's a lot of magnets on one page, I know. But it's just trying to figure out how to do a bow here. I don't know, it's too much. And then I thought about putting um, an, an ornamental piece on top with just two magnets. But these are so pretty, I couldn't, I just couldn't cover them back up. Our last one, and then we can start decorating. We need like a toothpick or something because um, my hook tool's magnetic, so it wants to stick to the magnet. Like a little wooden stick would work really well, but I don't have one handy, so I'm just going to suffer through it. pretty but it's all gonna get covered there we go okay let's start by putting this down isn't that pretty it's all inked oh I just noticed I didn't ink the top squares that's all right we'll get to it I just found out that the company that makes these tips 
I think is going out of business. Another one bites the dust, unfortunately. And I am due for one. So I'm not sure what I'm going to... I think I'm going to try... When this completely goes kaput, I'll, I'll probably wind up using the um, art glitter tips. And the reason I moved away from the art glitter tips is... Um, I, can't, I keep losing the pin that goes in the top, and then I'd replace it with a non-stainless, and it would it would um, rust, and they're just so easy to lose on your workspace. So I'll have to figure out a solution. I know I've seen people put bobbles on the end of it to help keep track of it. That might be the answer. It's one of my favorite ones. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm going to put him here. So this will be the flip side. I have a very cluttered workspace. I don't know what's going on here. It's like everything reproduced last night. Oh, shoot. I forgot I need to trim these. I'm going to have to take a break and trim those. Be back soon. All right, everybody. I got everything trimmed. We're ready to lay these down now. So um, two of these have um, the hat and sort of the travel accessories. Um, so I'm going to put those catty corner to each other and the others are wreaths and they'll be catty corner from each other now I'll make a lot more sense in just a few moments so this will go right here And then, not much, but it has the boots on it, so the boots are going to go down here. So on the flip side, you can uh, either place a photo or inside that wreath, you could do some journaling. Okay, now let's close these and see. We've got the birds, and we've got travel journal. So this one looks kind of simple, and so does this, so I'll put the birds down here and this up here. Of course, you could reverse it, have all of these up. Okay, last one. Okay, 
wrapping up on page seven. I'll be back soon with page eight. And uh, yeah, we're moving right along. Oh, pretty. It's gonna be hard to put a picture here, but let's see. What have I got here? It's almost five. So this is just a little shy of five by seven. So you could um, put a five by seven here and uh, still get you know all these pretty corners or you could do something smaller. It's hard to cover that up, but the other thing is three by threes, which is what I think you do here too. So just some ideas, but I really love this paper. There we go. Okay, when we get back, we'll work on page eight.